Well, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm. A few months ago, we installed and did a video about our Premier One poultry netting that we used to create a chicken yard out here in front of our chicken coop with our laying hens. And when I ordered the electric poultry, poultry netting, I also ordered one of the purpose-built gates, electric gates that comes with that you can order alongside of the poultry netting. And here a couple of months later, it finally came in. They had been out of stock for quite some time and we finally got our hands on ours today. It's actually leaning up over there on the fence there. So today we are going to rearrange the fencing here in the chicken yard. You can see inside the yard here, it is pretty brown and pretty tore up. The chickens were on this same about 60 by 40 paddock that it created all winter long because we weren't growing new green grass. But if I pan around, you can see on the outside of the fence, everything is definitely starting to green up. So we are going to get the fencing rearranged, get them onto some green, allow some patches of this to start to regrow. And at the same time, while we're accomplishing that, we are going to get our um, Premier One electric fence install or electric fence gate installed. And we'll show you guys how that works. So as you could see there, that's not exactly a one-person job. That was, uh, it wasn't exactly easy with two people. I mean, it went pretty easy, but trying to hold it all, all at once, I don't think you would be able to accomplish that. That's a little bit over a hundred foot roll, if I remember correctly. So you saw we kind of, we got most of the way around to here and then we had to go down to the end and break it down from that direction. But now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick somewhere here in the middle and we're gonna come out this direction, out into the field get out onto some of this green stuff, get off of some of this brown stuff. I'll throw down some new seed and hopefully the spring rains and all that will get some, some, uh, some fresh growth. So all I've done so far is this is the terminal post that it comes with. And then this is the little, uh, I don't know, boot or collar, maybe you would call it, that it sets in. So I just have this, it comes with these two pins. I have that pinned to the ground and I have this terminal post. It has a pin on the end of it. That's into the ground. Uh, I just used a couple pieces of this. This is the string that it came with that it was all tied up with. I just used that just to give it a little bit of structure up against the coop here. And then all you have to do is pretty much plug and play the mobile side of the gate. We'll drop in here. That drops over the top there. So this is your in and out. And come in, drop her back down in, that slips over, oops, that slips over your post, and then this will stick in the ground, we'll call it right there. And then we have the tabs, tab on this side, this is where our energizer will connect, and then the tab on this side, we will bring our fencing over, and this will clip to our fencing, and this will energize through the gate into the fencing.
has us doing is it did come with some zip ties. They're just regular old zip ties by the look of it. I just want you to get these tied together here. And that's what's gonna provide the support for this post here. So we'll just get a couple of those put on. And then we'll move the energizer over here and we'll get this thing charged up. So as you could see, that was a super straightforward install. It took way less time to install the gate than it did to move the rest of the fence around, creating our new paddock um, that we're gonna get going here for the spring. So before we had been climbing in and out over top of the fence, you know, just turning off the energizer and climbing in and out. But this is way easier and way nicer. I've really been looking forward to getting this set up. I'm short. I can't tell you how many times I've tripped climbing in and out over top of the, uh, of the poultry netting. So. We're really glad to have this set up. It's gonna make our daily uh, access to the nesting boxes much, much easier. I don't exactly remember how much the gate by itself cost because we bought this all as one package. The 100 foot roll of netting, four foot tall netting, the energizer with the solar panel and the gate. We bought this all as one package, but the gates were sold out when we bought it. So I don't exactly remember the price, but I wanna say um, nothing Premier One is cheap. I wanna say it was almost around a hundred bucks just for the gate, but I will look that up and I will put that in the end of the video here. So we've really been happy so far with our poultry netting. We have not had any predator issues with any of our hens. Uh, I think we're about four or five months into having the poultry netting and we have not had any problems. Actually have seen a coyote right up to the net and it touched its nose and that's all they wanted to do with it. It basically took off and we haven't had haven't seen him up here since. So we've really been happy with the poultry netting and I imagine we're gonna be super happy with the poultry netting gate. So it appears I may have exaggerated just a little bit. There is a $100 version of the poultry gate available, but that is the 20 foot wide version. This is the four foot version. It's 60 bucks, so not too bad, especially the amount of headache that it's gonna save me. I don't always make the best decisions when I come out here to gather my eggs. You know, sometimes I think, ah, there won't be that many today and I'm putting them in my pockets, carrying them in my hands, and then trying to climb over the netting. Just don't always make the best decisions. So we're really glad to have the gate installed. It's going to make both my life and Taylor's life much easier when it comes to our daily egg collection. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, think about hitting that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more farm content. And until next time, y'all, we will see ya.